you know, I kind of like Fantasy's chances here. I feel like he played that second game very well. Yeah, I actually like it a lot too. We did actually see Terminator play on this map up against Tasia in the Challenger match. And he, he did have a kind of a unique strategy for this map as well. With a two-base timing, Phoenix Colossi all in. Well, let's see if he wants to play it the same here. Whoever wins this will move on to the winner's match here in Group A of the Neighbors Star League. The top right in red. Or also player for Jin Air, it's Terminator. The bottom of the map in blue. The Dead Pixels, it's Fantasy, the former SKT Terran player. That is right. And I like these positions for Fantasy as well, actually. Yeah, really solid. Great sort of uh, flight path into the main base of Terminator when that time comes. Yes. Maybe capitalize on it, but we have seen Terminator go for Phoenix on this map, so we might want to try and uh, sway Fantasy from doing that once again, like in the last map. Going for those Phoenix into Colossi, and I wonder if we're going to see uh, Terminator try for a third base. It is very hard, especially for Protoss on this map, to get for that third base against Terran because it is very exposed in this map. It is a lot farther away, yeah, a lot harder than on a uh, Dead Wing, that's for sure. Oh, I think Blink is terrible on this map in PvT. I, it's There's just not a whole lot of area you can work with. You only have one way in. Yeah. So what I think is the better opening, if you want to do an aggressive opening as Terminator this time, is Oracles. And it is going to be a third CC first in a row. Wow. So he's sticking to his guns here. I think an Oracle opening, even a proxy Oracle opening, We're after scouting that, would be great. A much faster second gas from Terminator this time. Not going for an early Nexus. And a very fast scout as well. I think he's expecting a third CC first here. Proxy Stargate would not be a bad idea. So, comes up here. You can see no Terran. And it's going to immediately go to the bottom right. Well, actually, not even immediately. He's going all the way up there. So that's, okay. that's no mistake. Definitely planning on scouting and then hiding something here hmm. should he find there's nobody there. What do you think it will be, Wolf? Well, Dark Shrine is the most likely. Considering uh, it's this far away, I'd have to agree with you. And, you know, this is the kind of opening that is very difficult to scout as a Terran player, especially if you don't do a Reaper opening, uh, because if you don't, then you don't have the ability to check pylon counts. He hasn't even SCV scouted the, the right base. He's scouting the top left. Wouldn't it be funny if he just went to the back of the base? If he goes to the back, man, he's playing Just like super for no safe. reason, he's just like accidentally misclicked back there. Looks like he isn't going to do so it. So this is how you normally scout, guys. This is what the probe would have normally done if he wasn't planning on doing this. Yeah. So you just turn around. The second you check that place where the base is going to be the corner of it, you just leave. You mm. want to be the most efficient you can. Doesn't have enough money for Twilight Council just yet, but he's getting close. If he proxies Oracle here, that would be kind of nuts. I mean, I, just, I don't think it would... It's just not even it a would, good idea. It would be inefficient. It would be ineffective. It would be a horrible idea. So I don't think that's going to happen. It we, just wouldn't get there in time for oh, nearly fast enough. I mean, we just... We don't ever see... Uh, well, I, I don't say ever. We do sometimes see a, a proxy Twilight Council with Blink. We're seeing nothing up there, actually. We're yeah. seeing the Stargate in the main now. So that proxy pylon in the top left was for nothing, Wolf. Well, for now. Let's wait and see. Perhaps he was thinking of something, but he changed his mind. I'm trying to think of possible things he could do here. I um, mean, he could add a Twilight afterwards or something. Yeah. He could also... I mean... Adding gateways. He's, he's going to go he for could two add base. Gates. Yeah. He, I was going to say he could even add a second target, I guess. But um, well, you know, he's going to need four gases for that. So looks like we're going to see an Oracle opening. MC-esque. Uh, but just hiding the gates to make it a bit of a mystery in case a scan comes down. It's going to be very, very aggressive. And there's that Oracle. Yeah, extra gateways. You see a lot of sentries with this build. Um, stalkers to, to burst down the bunker if there's one at the front. And then sentries to come in, of course, force all the SCBs out. Mm. It's only three gates so far. Yeah, he might add three. two more in the main if he wants to really commit. Because then a fancy scout's three gates is like, oh, you're just powering up your gateways. He doesn't know that it's five gates, actually, instead of three. We'll see how he wants to play this. So far, just three, though. Yeah. It's like just three. I guess it is very early. 
What he's going to do, okay, what I think he's going to do is just run past the bunker. Draw the Marines Well, it's only away. two Marines. I mean, he yeah. could just kill it as well. And I don't think Fantasy's really thought about this at he all. Has no he's got turrets. Marines in the main base and in the natural mineral patches. Moving them forwards now, moving them back. He okay. can burst down this bunker before really any damage comes. Yep. If he gets nasty, he can always run by two. Okay, just going to start moving forward here. Time Warp goes down oh. to Brent. The Marines are getting inside, and he does burst it down. There's a Time Warp still actually on this army. Oracle even participating, fighting those Marauders, though. Yeah, I didn't know about that. He loses yeah. the Oracle. But well, should still be enough to yeah. really push everything away. And this bunker is, you know, very, very, uh, I guess, optimistic, you could say, here to the right side. That's certainly not going to finish in time. Marauders are all gone, and Stalkers beat Marines in a straight-up fight. They have better range, and they're faster, and they're just going to hunt them down. Wants to kill that SCV, but no, just kills the Marines instead. Bunker will finish. Not one Marauder gets inside, but there's just too many Stalkers. Now we can avoid the Bunker. There's no anti-air for the Mothership Core except those two Marines, which he does kill it with. <laughs> so yeah. I spoke too soon, but this is too much damage. This is basically game-ending game damage. This is way too much damage. I mean, we do see Marauders be coming out of these barracks, but if they're on top of the barracks, then nothing's going to stay alive. Yeah, production is camped. He just targets the Marauder as it comes out and wins the game. Even a pylon on the high ground now. Stim isn't going to finish. You can just target that down too. Kiting back against the SCVs. He's not using the, the the units in the bunker either. Like I feel like he should really be using them right now. But well, I guess so. The one is in the red. You know, I mean, it's lose lose, right? It's all lose at this point. There's nothing left. All the SCVs are gone. 38 SCVs have died. 41. And you know what? This is what happens when you use the same build three times in a row. And you it's get the build. terminated. You get terminated by a cheese man. Seriously. Well but done by Terminator. <laughs> Really reading his opponent well. I love that build because the way it works out for him is he scouts early with the probes. He's going to see the CC first if it's CC first. Uh -huh. He can still do the build, and he knows it's a CC first. If he doesn't see it, he can reasonably assume it's a CC first because there's no Reaper, and Fancy already CC first and twice. Yeah. And then you can hide the Stargate there, or, you know, hide gateways there, whatever you, 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 the case may be, depending on the map. Mm. And this map best, obviously, to hide the gateways because, as you are saying, the Stargate's too far away if you hide it there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but I like the map a lot, or the build for the map a lot, considering how Fancy played out this best of series. It was a great kind of uh, reactive build order to deal with uh, exactly what Fantasy's doing, going for three CCs in a row. Like it's it's such a, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Really, really good, well good done. Good for Terminator, man. He's into the into the winners match. I wouldn't count Fancy out of this group yet, though. He played a good series. You know, the third game that he lost, I feel like he you know he got cheesed basically. The first game that he lost, he made some critical mistakes, but was often ahead. Mm. And had he just smoothed out some of the kinks in his play, I think he could have actually won that first game. So Yeah, I agree. I like but, his chances still. I mean, like, has he shown everything he has to offer today? Like, what if he has to play against Super in the losers? Like, Super can just be like, oh, he went 3cc first in a row. Like, I can deal with this. Yeah, and almost seeing 3cc three three first in a row makes me feel like he's... You know, also preparing really hard, maybe even practicing more builders for Zerg, and he's mm. just focusing. Okay, I'm I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my TVP right now. I'm just gonna do the same build every map, uh, but I'm really concerned about playing against Leenok later, maybe. Maybe, yeah. 